All right, so here I've listed a number of um, formulae for, count, for calculating the mass, the moments, and the center of mass for a, a rectangle, well, a, a, any kind of plate, really, that's a simple region in the xy plane. Okay, you can see down the right-hand side, we've got double integrals. Double integrals of the, uh, of the density function. In this case, it's the double integral of the density function uh, times the distance to the x-axis. And there it's the distance to the y-axis times the density function, double integrated. And here you have the center of mass. Okay, so a body's first moments tells us about the balance and about the torque the body exerts about different axes. Let's do an example and see how we can um, solve these problems. Right, so we've got a thin metal plate in the shape of a triangle. We're given a density function, and we're asked to calculate the plate's mass, the first moments, and the center of mass. Okay, so the first thing we, we want to do here is to mathematically describe the region D. All right, so... So what are the bounds on D going to be? Who can tell me? Well, X is between 0 and 1, and Y is going to be between, what, 2X and 0? Remember, when we describe these regions, we need to bound them by two parallel lines that are parallel to either axis, and two possibly non-parallel lines. All right, so let's work out the mass here. By definition, the mass M is just the double integral the double integral of the density function over D. All right, so now it just comes down to writing it out as a, a specific integral. So we've got 1, 0, 2x, 0, x plus y plus 2, dy dx. Okay, so there's nothing difficult about this integral. It's very straightforward. Remember, with double integrals, you work your way from the inside to the outside. So do the, integral, the inside integral first. Integrate with respect to y, keeping the other variables fixed. Okay, so we get something a little like this. Okay. That should give you, according to my calculations... Something like this. And then you can obviously integrate that and you'll get 10 on 3. Okay. All right, so the next part of the question was to calculate the first moments. Anyone still going up here? Right, so I'm just going to do it about the x-axis. Remember, the first moment about the x-axis is just double integral of the density function times the distance to the x-axis. All right. All right, so... So we're going to get something like this. Okay, again, nothing tricky about this integration. You can just go through and just 
Do the inside integral first, do the outside integral, and um, you should get down to something like this. Okay, so, so you integrate the inside integral with respect to y, keeping everything else fixed. And this integral should give you 15 on 6, oh, which is just 5 on 2. All right, so in a similar fashion, You can calcul calculate the other moment. Okay, I won't do all the calculations for you here, but you'll get 7 on 3. So putting all that information together, we can now calculate the centre of mass of our plate. Similarly. Okay. What was our mass? It was ten on three. Whoops. All right, so we put our, our parts A and B together, come up with our centre of mass, 